In the two weeks since the federal officers arrived, the intensity and the size of the protests and the nightly violence have increased. And today, Oregon's top federal official said that these ongoing night after night protests are destroying the soul of the city. It's a Groundhog Day scenario that keeps playing out day after day in Portland. Morning cleanup, followed by peaceful protests. Then, after most protesters go home, the scene outside the federal courthouse turns ugly, just like it did once again last night. Thrown frozen water bottles, other glass bottles, cans of full cans of food being thrown at the officers. But recently, they had begun to use uh, commercial fireworks. <laughs> Fireworks, trash, and other projectiles tossed at the courthouse bring out the federal officers. Then comes tear gas and pepper balls. They've been gassed every night. It's wrong. It's wrong in a very big way. Then the arrests, 83 since the feds arrived. Assistant U.S. Attorney Scott Oshfog showed us the mess inside the fence designed to protect the federal courthouse. He admits the arrival of federal officers has led to larger protests and increasing violence. There's no doubt that the, that they are, the rallying cry has been that because federal officers have come into the building to try to protect it, that this building is now a target. So it's a proxy for anti-government protesters who simply believe that they shouldn't be here. There have been reports that more federal officers will be arriving in Portland soon. Federal authorities declined to answer my questions about those reports. The U.S. Attorney for Oregon did put out a plea to protesters and to all Portlanders. Nobody in our community should condone violence in the name of Mr. Floyd racial justice or any other cause. This nightly violence cannot continue. It is absolutely destroying the soul of our city. I hope all of us can come together and try to find a way around this, because right now you're right. It is does seem to be that it's just Groundhog Day. Every morning is the same. The feds made it clear that the federal officers will not be leaving town until the attack stop on the federal building. Also, over the weekend, we talked to some Black Lives Matter organizers who said they're telling people when they see any act of violence during a protest to leave. They say it doesn't represent their movement. Wayne Haberly, Coin 6 News.